Okay, outdoor update. It's May 21st. We've got six out here and then four more in the back. About two months old, about three months old. They look pretty good, pretty solid uh, on the offshoots on this one. It's starting to form. Uh, this one looks pretty good as well. Uh, last week, these secondary offshoots didn't seem like they were that crazy, but it looks like they're starting to kind of get moving as the plants get a little bit older. So it makes sense, you know, that the bottom offshoots are bigger than the upper ones. Uh, this is one week after fertilization, and I feel like I might be able to up the fertilization rate and do it once a week, but I'm not sure. So maybe I'll think about that. Uh, they're looking pretty good. They have started. I've seen aphids. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to catch, but definitely there's something going on on them. And I have 100% seen aphids on these plants. I ordered ladybugs today. I squished a bunch of aphids. I'm going to spray them down with neem oil tonight. I don't think that's an aphid, but I think I saw one over here. There's something in that little leaf crawl right there. There's something in there. So I'm gonna spray everything down with neem oil. And basically it's 1.30 p.m. and these have been pretty much in the same spot uh, for the last couple weeks. So they get morning sun until 1.30 or so when this umbrella setup starts casting a shadow. So the front ones always get the most sun the back ones get a little bit less. Then they get a little bit back here, you see. The uh, sun begins to hit them again, but just very slightly from maybe like 4 to 5 p.m. before the sun gets blocked by this wall. It's a fern tree, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about these plants? Not much to say. They're looking pretty beastly. Hoping they get bigger hoping we can get this aphid situation under control. And I think that's what causes these weird sh misshapen new leaves. So you definitely, I definitely need to uh, jump on it and be preventative. I sprayed Azamax two days ago. Um, so I'll try to spray it once, maybe twice a week. And once those ladybugs get here, I'll release those throughout the nights. And uh, yeah, we'll go look at the other areas now. Just to take a quick look at these babies. This one, um, I topped it here. It wasn't doing so well, and it's still not. It's got this weird discoloration here. So we'll take a good five second look at that and then spend some time on the internet later. Leaves are looking a little sad, kind of in the dirt here. Gotta get my hand out of the way of the camera. It's pretty, it's, they're pretty dry. Um, well, they're not that dry. Deep down, see, you gotta go a couple inches down to get to the wet soil. Uh, but I did just water them yesterday or the day prior. I think I might have to start giving them more water. So nice, nice. They always look so nice when they come from indoors and then they get beat up outdoors with the sun and the elements and the dust and the pests and just the struggles, the struggles of uh, just living in the wild. See, that's what you don't want. But uh, we're not worried about this because we'll eventually trim all these lower leaves off. So we're just kind of using them for their purpose now and soon they'll be gone. But I wonder if it's better just to get them out early to reduce the risk of dirt-borne disease or pests, pests climbing up. In any case, that's the outdoor update.